Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends. Today we have a new guest. Finally, a person, his name, Dr. Sabil Ahmed. He made a video and this video is to me. This guy, I made for him many, many videos since many years ago. But because he's a potato, he never dare. But today, he thought like he got something against me. And it sounded like something big. So he decided to make a message and it sounded like he's victorious. What do you have against the Christian Prince, Dr. Sabil Ahmed? Did you answer him? Did you refute him? For sure he refuted me. Look what he said. Allah, this is your brother Sabil Ahmed. A few days back, as I was checking my WhatsApp messages, lo and behold, a really strange message came from Brother Mustafa Hijazi. And he wrote, that a well-known brother Farid wants to get in touch with you. It's regarding a video that a head preacher, Christian Prince, made against you. Stop! Stop! A hate preacher? What? A hate preacher? Uh, you know, Sabir Ali, uh, sorry, Sabir, uh, all of you are the same anyway, potatoes. You are not only a fraud, you are a liar. Can you show me where I say uh, we hate the Muslims, we want to kill the Muslims as an example like your prophet say, uh, kill them wherever you find them, torture them, kidnap them. What are you talking about, you filthy liar? And as long as you are talking about hate, and I know you will never debate me, and you are a coward. And we will show people later what he will say about debating me. Look what he put in the top of his name. Hate preacher. This is remind me of a guy, his name is Mimi Hijab. He said, sexual predator. I mean, I was quoting for a Muslim woman that the prophet said, suckle me, because she said that Jesus was playing with his mother private parts. Filthy women presenting Islam. The Muslim, they say, because I quoted their prophet who ordered women to suckle men, sexual predator. And now you are doing the same. You are a fraud like them. Hate preacher. You Muslim, you say Christian women, they have AIDS. When in fact, publishing AIDS is very popular between Muslim community because you have four wives, multiple partners, you do muta, you divorce today, you marry tomorrow. And you accuse a Christian women of having AIDS. But you are a sneaky person who claimed that you are a victim, like, you know, you are the cool person and this guy is aggressive. So now, as long as you are talking about hate, you filthy liar, why you don't condemn then your God who said in the Quran in chapter 5? Verse number 14. That Allah will spread hatred and enmity between the Christians until judgment day. Brothers and sisters. There's a person, his name is a Christian prince. He is a preacher for hate. And, you know, I like your voice, by the way. You remind me of the guy who contacted you. His name is Fifi, who blinked with his eyes and he called me Habibi. Speak like a man. Now, is that your God saying in the Quran that he targeted the Christians and he will spread hatred and enmity between them? So you're filthy. you coward. You fraud, accusing me of teaching hate when this is the Quran. And look, not only that, look what you did. If Christians, they have hate, according to the Quran, it's coming from Allah. Read carefully, your Satan, your Satan Allah, what he is saying. Chapter 5, verse number 14. From those two who call themselves a Christian, we did take a covenant. By the way, when Allah, he took a covenant with us, what does that mean? What is the covenant? To kiss the black stone, pagan people? To go around the Kaaba, to bow to out stone, to pray in the direction of a stone, or to slaughter people so Allah can be happy? What covenant? What we have to do with Allah? So Allah, he took a covenant with the Christian. Okay, the Christian, they did not care for the covenant of Allah, and I agree with that. We will not care for such a covenant. Filthy, pagan, stone kissers, violent teacher, hate spreading, so we don't have covenant with the devil. We did take covenant, but they say they forgot a good part of the message that they was sent to them. So we string them 
with enmity and hatred. Now this uh, potato, he will say to you, oh, this is some about some Christians who they were forgetting. The... This is about all the Christian, you idiot. According to Muslims, all the Christian today are those in the verse. Don't lie. And look, your God, Allah says, that he will string enmity and hatred until day of judgment. This is not in, because you, you will say them, this is in the time of the Prophet Muhammad. This is not for now. Until the day of judgment. Do you see it? So it is the job of your God to be the hate preacher between us a Christian. So you faith, you why you are saying I hate, I am a hate preacher. If that supposedly your God, if I have hate ever and I don't, I love the Muslim, I don't hate them. If I have hate ever, that will come from the main supplier, the hate vendor the God of Islam and we can go right now and read the interpretation for this verse and all the interpretation of the Muhammad and Abdul they agree with what I said so you are a fraud every video I make I say love the Muslims we love the Muslim we want to save the Muslims even I give my books for free for the Muslims 300 million Indonesian, they are enjoying my books for free and tens of thousands of them, they are leaving Islam, my friend. So why? You are lying. And if you are against hate, how come you are not against this verse in the Quran? Why you bring people to the most in, them? in Islam, the Prophet, peace be upon him. He taught us to be good to everybody. He did? What a liar. The Prophet, you're a Prophet, he said, if you see a Christian in the street, force him to walk in the sewage. Am I lying? Everything I say, I show on the screen. Prophet, peace upon him. He taught us to have peace with the Christian and to love the Christians and to invite them for Allah to convert to Islam. Prophet, Jesus was a Muslim. Jesus was a Muslim. Jesus, he said, if you see a Muslim in the street, you spit in his face and you force him to walk in the sewage, that is the teaching of Jesus. And you are saying to me, Jesus, Jesus was a Muslim. Jesus says, love your enemy. Bless those who curse you. Pray for those who hate you. That is the teaching of Jesus. So how Jesus is a Muslim, and yet the Muslim Jesus is 100 degree with the Muslim Muhammad. And now, are you going to say to me, this is not Sahih Hadith? What you will say? What you will say? You, 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 you are cute. All oh, those Hadith are Sahih. Is it Sahih? Yes, brother. What Sahih mean? Mean it's coming directly from the biggest fraud in history. His name, Prophet Muhammad, who opened a corporation to steal and to kidnap and to rape. Prophet Muhammad, peace upon him, brother and sister. Assalamu alaikum, brother and sister. I like it how sneaky you are, but you don't sound like a man for me. Speak like a man when you talk to me. So, brother, hate? Oh, hold on, I'm not done. What hate? Is it in the Quran? It says you cannot even love your own family if they are not Muslims. Huh? I will leave that to you later because you are going to quote for us some beautiful verses from the Quran. Go ahead, brother. Tell us more about hate. You are suffering from hate. And I was thinking, who is this person, Christian Prince, and why did he make... Notice, he, he just said, I was thinking, who is this Christian Prince, which means he never heard of me. But the idiot... Two minutes after he will get himself busted, he knew who I am very well. 
This is how foolish, stupid they are. Say it again, please. Say it. Who is a Christian prince? You never heard of a Christian prince? You never heard of a Christian prince? You must be kidding me. Even Allah heard of me. He never heard of a Christian prince. Now really, I believe you. Truly, 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 I believe you. I don't know why I don't believe you. I mean, I believe you. Tell us more. You don't know Christian prince. And I was thinking, who is this person, Christian prince? And mm. why did he make a video against me? Why? I'm not making video against you, you idiot. Who are you? You're a potato. I'm making a video exposing your lies. Okay? Like, you know, I am against lies. And uh, what was your response, brother? So then a link was sent to me. Uh -huh. So my name is here uh -huh. versus Christian Prince is there. Uh -huh. I became curious uh -huh. and I went to YouTube. Okay. And I typed my name over here. Brother, can you tell us all the details? Like, did you sit in the chair? Did you make some tea before? Did you take a shower? I mean, and look, at his, he will give you the details. And then he sent me a message. And then like suddenly I was sitting in my table. Just go go back, you know, like this is the nice scenario. It's a nice movie. So look at this movie. Okay, tell us from the beginning, please. Just 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 to 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 make you see how, how it's fake. I mean, look at this. So he was sitting and then a message came from the beginning, brother. Allah, this is your brother Sabil Ahmad. A few days back, as I was checking my WhatsApp messages, uh -huh. lo and behold, a really strange message came from Strange. He got a strange message. This must be Jibreel. Did he squeeze you? From brother Mustafa Hijazi. Mustafa Hijazi. And where is this Hijazi? Why he don't call me the potato? There's a guy, his name is Mustafa Hijazi. He knew about me and he's not calling me. Shame on you. Here we go. Now we, we join you to the She Club. She Club. Do you know what She Club? She Club is Mimi Hijab, Fifi Hijab, sister. And now Mimi Hijabi and you. You are from the She Club. You will never call me and you will never debate me. And people will see that. Continue. What happened next? Step by step, please. Don't miss that you opened the door, you went to the room, you turned the computer, and you sit in the chair, and then you hold the mouse, and then you type in the keyboard. Actually, he said that. And he wrote that a well-known brother Farid hmm. wants... Well-known? Well-known? Okay. How come you never heard of him then? Okay, no problem. ...to get in touch with you. It's regarding a video that a head preacher, Christian Prince... Head preacher, you see? Those who believe that they, if they see a Christian, she should spit in his face, torture him, to force him to pay jizya, and humiliate him. As the Quran in chapter 9, 29 says, they are saying, I am a hated preacher. ...made against you. Hmm. And I was thinking, who is this person, Christian Prince, and why did he make a video who against me? Who is you? So then a link was sent to me. Hmm. So my name is here, versus oh. Christian Prince is there. Hmm. I became curious. When I went to YouTube and I typed my name over here, Sabir Ahmed and Christian Prince, lo and behold. Is he even is he telling us like, as long as they send you a link, you idiot, about it, why you are typing your name? I mean, who believe in this story? They, you just said they send you a link so you can open it. So instead of sending the link, you went to your YouTube and start typing Sabir with Christian Prince? You just said they send you the link. Like, hello? No problem. Tell us more details. A bunch of videos came. So, yes, that's definitely, that's my photo up there, right? Video number definitely. one. Video number two. My photo is there. And actually, my name is also here. Dr. Sabil Ahmed. And Dr. Sabil Ahmed, Christian Prince. Right? Uh, so, that's, this is not my photo, as you see. Yeah, this is not you, you idiot. This is Muhammad Salah. For you, you don't even have little muscles to kill a cockroach. This is for sure not you. Are you kidding me? Uh, I'm not into UFC. UFC? This is a football player. Egyptian guy. The Muslim, they say it is haram to show your skin. And the Muhammad Salah, not always showing his knee, he is showing his chest. Aren't you getting it? Continue. Uh, my name is there, Dr. Sabil Ahmad and Christian Prince. Hey, by the way, you are doctor in what? Because that will be interesting. Maybe we can debate about your prophet, Dr. Muhammad, who said if the women have orgasm first, the baby will be a boy. Sorry, if the men have orgasm first, the baby will be a boy. If the women have orgasm first, the baby will be a girl. 
डॉक्टर Dr. Sabir can you send me flowers please I mean I I think I need it now I think it's time for you to send me flowers I really need it Okay what how you pass it me go ahead Paul they're so much deceived and we pray we should pray for their guidance Hold stop Stop Did he just say we shall pray for their guidance Did he just say we shall pray for their guidance just to show you how a fraud this idiot is lying to the christians first of all muslims are not allowed to pray for us secondly quran says it clearly that allah will not guide us Read with me in the Quran and laugh at this liar. I will make it a joke of everybody. If I know you will never debate me. So you want to pray for me? You want to pray for me? I thought Allah He guided not the kuffar. Chapter two, verse number two sixty-four. Chapter five, verse number sixty-seven. Chapter nine, verse number thirty-seven. Chapter sixteen, verse one hundred seven. Allah guided not the kuffar. Not only that Allah said to Muhammad Are you going to guide who Allah deceived Who Are you going to guide <clears throat> those who Allah deceived Read with me and love. He pray for us. He pray for us. <laughs> In different verse, Muhammad, Allah told him, his God. Actually, all of them they are saying the same, you know. Chapter three, verse number eighty-six. It says, "How Allah will guide people who they reject faith after they accepted it." So, based on your lies, we used to be Muslims and we left Islam and we became a Christians. So, how shall Allah guide those who reject faith? So, your prayer is a fraud. Not only that, your God Allah saying. and those people the curse of allah is on them so you are saying to me you pray to us and the quran saying that allah he curse on them not only that the quran says in the same chapter chapter 3 verse number 90 that those who reject the faith after they accepted it which mean including apostate from islam and according to muhammad all of us we are apostate because everyone is born as a muslim and those who reject the faith after accepting the faith Allah Allah will add misleading to their misleading 
and never their repentance to be accepted. So you liar, when you say to me there is somebody converted to Islam, either Allah is a liar or you are a liar because Allah said their repentance never accepted. Coward, liar. In different verse in the Quran, Quran speak about <clears throat> deceiving. If Allah want, he can guide us, but Allah, he decide to deceive us. Read carefully. If thou art anxious of their, for their guidance, yet Allah guide not such as he leave to astray. This is the Muslim translation. And there is none to help them. Who is the one who make us astray? It is your Allah. Do you remember Dr. Sabil, when you brought a Christian guy to your office, and you tried to frame him by setting up a camera so just for the sake of publicity, as you always do. And actually, the video appeared to me here in the screen next to your video. It happened, it appeared. Look, 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 it's here. Christian Muslim debate, uh, the, it, say, it says hit the wall something. And you invited the guy, you coward. You told him, welcome to have coffee with us. And without his permission, you put a camera and you recorded the whole thing because you are seeking publicity and I'm going to make you more popular now. Listen to this. I made a video and I got you busted in everything you said. In a few seconds, people will hear you confirming that. You just said you never heard of me, right? You are literally stupid. In that video, you said to this Christian that whoever believe in Allah and do righteous he will go to heaven. But you are a liar. Officially a liar. If we go in the hadith, we find the following. That Allah confirm. It is not your deed will make you go to heaven. It is your destiny in Islam. I, am, I know you will never answer any of what I'm saying. You will skip it as you heard nothing. Because you are a potato coward and you will never dare to answer anything. And this is why from all the video I made and you said you, you saw all those videos but you did not dare to answer me. Look you coward. You said to the Christian person in your office that whoever do good deeds will go to heaven. The guy, he says to you, there is no salvation in Islam is guaranteed. You said, no, it's guaranteed. And anyone can go right now and watch the video. And look what your prophet saying. I hope you will not say that your prophet is a liar. And this is Sahih al-Bukhari. Hadith number 6594. Your prophet Muhammad, the money collector, the womanizer, the child lover, said, by Allah, a person among you may do the deeds of people of fire, which mean people of the hell fire. They will go to hell. Tell there is only a cubit or an arm breathe this distance between him and the fire. But then that is written. What is that? Between two brackets by the Muslims. Remember, everything you see in front of you is written by Muslim, translated by Muslims and published by Muslims. This is sunnah.com. I have nothing to do with it. And then what is written? What is written? Allah, he ordered to write the angel. This is your destiny. Proceed. And he does the deeds of the people of paradise and he enter it. <laughs> you liar. The Christian guy, he said to you, there is no salvation guaranteed in Islam. You said yes. Where is the guarantee here? The guy is doing the deeds of hellfire all his life. Then the fate of Allah take over and he been forced to do the deeds of heaven and he go to heaven. And now vice versa, read carefully. And a man may do the deeds of the people of paradise till there is only a cubit or two between him and paradise. And then what is written proceed and he does the deeds of people of the fire. 
So why you want to convert to Islam? Huh? It's a gambling. It's already written. According to Islam, the deed I'm doing now, it is Allah He wrote for me. In different report, it says it clearly that this is a deed which you must do, which means it's not only a fate, it is not a choice at all to do or not to do. You must do. Read carefully this one as an example. And this is Sahih again, this is Sahih Muslim. Hadith number 2643. By him beside whom there is no God, that one among you act like people of deserving paradise, until between him and paradise there is remain but the distance of a cubit. You are almost at the door. And when suddenly the writing destiny overcomes him, and he began to act like the people of hell, and then he enter hell. <laughs> And you liar, you told the guy in your video, you, there is a salvation in Islam. No, I told you that. If you remember point number two, point number three, I like it when you do the voice of a female. Why you lie? We pray for them. We pray for it. We just showed you your prophet saying, if you see Christian and Jews in the streets, spit on their face and don't approach them with peace and force them to walk in the sewage. Tell us more. Pray for us, please. You know, I truly feel really sorry for these kind of people. Uh -huh. They're so much deceived. And we... Don't say the word deceive again. Isn't it Allah said in the Quran that he is the one who deceived us? What's wrong with you? Why am I going to repeat this word again? You forced me now to go back to zero. Here we go. Uh, they are deceived. Uh, they, they are deceived. Okay. What Allah he said about deceiving? Hmm? Isn't it him the best of deceiver? Chapter 4 verse number 88. Look what the Quran says. <sighs> Do you see what it says? Would you guide those whom Allah has deceived you see the translation here doesn't say the word deceive if you change the translator just change the translator you will see how the whole thing changed depend in the mood of the abdul of how much lies you want to give read carefully we just changed the translator we did not change the quran do you want to guide him who allah has made go astray who is the one who made go astray allah the devil allah do you see it and he whom Allah made go astray, you will never find him a way of guidance. And this is a total contradiction for the teaching of Christ, our Lord, the Messiah. When they complain that he is speaking to the sinners, he said, I came for the sick, not for the healthy. Your God, he is the one who make us sick and his duty to keep us sick. I pray for you. I really pray from my heart. And I like it when you put your hands over your breast. That's really funny. The prophet, he used to suckle his uncle, as you know. I hope he will not suckle you too. Continue, please. We pray. We should pray for their guidance to uh -huh. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We just showed you that you cannot do that. This is against Islam. Continue. So let's take a look at one of the videos. Uh -huh. And let's play the video to see who is this person? Is it me or somebody else? It's not you for Inshallah. sure. Inshallah. Is it? All right, I'm just rewinding the video. In the day of resurrection about worshiping Mary, nobody worship her. So that's the voice of this Christian preacher. Yeah. Hmm. So this is a mistake, isn't it? So see, in Surah 5, Ayah 116, the word... So that is supposed to be me, and you be the judge, how I speak and how this brother is speaking. Brother, I agree, it's not you. Let me tell you what happened, brother.
But this is between you and me and YouTube and Facebook. At that day, I was bewitched. So I imagined that it was you. Or let us say, people in the chat, they imagine it's you. So they start saying, it is, uh, it is uh, Sabil Ahmed. And this is what make me suspect that it might be because his voice, his accent sound like yours. But it's not you. I was. Uh, I will explain to you about the bewitching after you confirm to us, please. Go ahead. For God is 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 Elahain. Elahain, according to my, I've seen with my own two eyes. Elahain does. So as you can as you can see hmm. and as you can hear, Alhamdulillah, this brother is not me. May Allah bless the brother. Hmm. It's not you. For sure, it's not you. You are a coward. You will never dare to call me. I was wondering. There's no way. People, they say it's you. We believe them. And obviously it's not you. And you will never dare to call me. Now, I will explain to you what happened, brother. I hope you understand. My situation is very hard, brother. Ah, this is a verse about suckling. Your prophet teaching women to suckle their breast to adult, which I, I will convert to Islam because of this verse. This is the only verse that's conv convincing for me because as you know, evil, you know, evil people, you know, we are evil people. Look what your prophet Look what happened to me, actually. What your prophet? This is what happened to me. So this person complaining that we thought it is him, and it is not him. This is not his voice. And supposedly we are lying. This is your prophet. The prophet continued for such a such period of time, imagining that he had sexual intercourse with his wife. In fact, he did not. Huh? What, what? So you are complaining that I imagined it's you. And it's not. But you are not complaining about a prophet. You take from him the word of God. But this guy, he cannot even be sure if he having sex with his wives or the pillow or the goat. And the story did not stop here. Because my situation was not like your situation. I imagine it's you. And it's not you, but I am not a prophet. The hadith of Al-Bukhari says, Once the prophet was bewitched, so that he began to imagine that he had done a thing which in fact he had not done. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Christian Prince, did you imagine that this is Dr. Sabil Ahmad? Yes, brother, I confess. But it's not him. <laughs> you just said that the one who say it is you is lying. You know, we were not lying. And this is why I asked him in the video you play. I asked him, are you Sabil Ahmad? He said, no, but people are still saying he is. Someday, but later people say, no, it's not. So we changed the title of the video. And the video you are showing you, idiot, is not in my channel. After we find out that you are, not him, we change the name. But look at your hypocrite. You are, this is not me, but my voice. But you have a, no problem that you are following a bewitched prophet who imagined that he had done a thing. And this is an excuse for any liars. I can say now, I imagined about anything I did. You ask me, did you uh, give me money? I say, yeah, I send you the money. Later you say to me, but I did not receive it. I say, I imagine. What kind of a prophet he is officially in your religion is bewitched. So my friend, what happened to me when I thought it's you, it's very normal. And I was not bewitched like your prophet. I'm sure you will never answer about this. What you will say, this is weak hadith. This is Sahih al-Bukhari. And by the way, when your prophet was bewitched, how many satanic verses he received from shaitan? Because the second you say that the prophet was bewitched, you just con convinced us that Muhammad was possessed by the devil. Otherwise, what, uh, what it does mean he was bewitched? The bewitched prophet Muhammad. Shaitan bewitched him, peace upon him. 
The bewitched prophet, peace upon him. That's better. The bewitched prophet, Allah pray on for him, not to him. This is why it says Allah he prayed for, not to. So what, you know, you want to make a drama because the title was there is yours and this is not my channel. We correct that, my friend. We thought it's you. And later we discovered that there is no way a coward person like you will call me. This person who called me is 10 more times brave than you. You are, you are a potato like our Fifi. She, you are from the She Club. And look, instead of calling me and say this is not me and debating me, you are complaining. Tell us more what happened. Because this movie is getting long. Go ahead. This person is not me just by listening for 5-10 seconds. But let's take a look at more, inshallah. Doesn't mean God. My friend, in any Arabic dictionary to my friend your, voice, your, that your voice is the same as Sabil, the one I made a video about him. Is that you? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It, it is See, he said to me, it doesn't matter. That make me, make me more suspicious of him. People in the chat, they were saying that this is Dr. Sabil. So I asked him, are you Dr. Sabil? He said, doesn't matter. Why he want to say doesn't matter? Why he don't say right away it's it's not me? Huh? When you say it doesn't matter, you are saying to me, I am him. So you are a potato. You are trying to make a story of it and suddenly like as, as if you are a victim of rape or something, man. Hello? What's wrong with you? So this is the drama. I thought you are going to make a video to refute me, to do something. And the whole drama that I thought that this is you? Brother, I have a problem. I'm going to confess for you. Since Allah, he cloned Isa. So I thought maybe this guy is a clone of you by Allah. And I wasn't sure, this is the true Isa or not the true Isa? The true Dr. Sabil or not the true Dr. Sabil? Because obviously Allah is so good in the business of cloning. So he replaced Isa in the cross and he put a fake Isa. And then the Christian, they thought fake Isa is real Isa. But the truth is, now there is two Isa. One Isa is true and one Isa is fake. Now, the true Isa is not the same as the fake Isa, even though that the true Isa look the same as the fake of Isa, and the fake Isa look exactly as Isa. But now Isa is not Isa no more, and now we have a cross eyes because we are confused. Because we have two Isa. One, his name is Isa, the other one, his name is Isa. One is a fake Isa, one is the true, a true Isa. And now, are you complaining about Allah lying to us, the biggest lie in history? saying that I put for you a fake Isa in the cross and you are not complaining about that but you are complaining about me because I thought that this is the real Sabil but the real Sabil is not Sabil because this is the fake Sabil and the fake Sabil was not in the cross for he is not a sea Sabil for Allah he cloned two Sabil so he went sent one Sabil to me and one Sabil was at home one of them he called me and the other one did not call me so I thought the fake Sabil is a true Sabil but Allah deceived me do you see how silly, stupid you are? How come you don't complain about Allah fabricating Isa in the cross? And you are upset because I thought that this is you. And the brother and sisters, this is not me. Trust me. I'm not man enough to call this guy. He will spank me. He will eat me alive. He will crush me between his two fingers. Oh, I'm not going to use my fingers. You might say something. Coward. Brothers and sisters, be the judge. It is not me, brothers. It's obvious, brother, not me, brothers. That's what you want to say to me. So all this video, this drama, is to say that to Christian brothers? Brother, I'm really, really disappointed. Tell us more. Is it? Is it? It's you, right? Sabir, the one I got him busted yesterday? I'm not Sabir. So he's saying he's not Sabir. No, you are Sabir. This is your voice. Mean God. This is your voice. See, I keep saying to him, you are Sabir, and the guy keep, keep talking. He don't want to answer. 
And that made us say, we believe he is Sabir. But guys, people, this is not me. Okay. Is that, is that, is that you, Sabir Ahmad? Is that you? <laughs> no, wallahi, I'm not Sabir. Okay, Sabir I will take your word. No. no problem. He says. So he keep from saying, you know, I am not Sabir. Despite, despite knowing the truth, he has the docity, right? This person, the head preacher, he still writes my name in the description of the potato this is not my video this is different channel you idiot the people they copy my video potato potato hello you are stupid hello okay the video of the title of the video just to get extra views just to get extra views Wow! Just to get extra views. And look what he will say after a few seconds. He said, I am the one who made his view increase. Just wait. But Alhamdulillah, towards the end of the video, I have wonderful news for each single one of you. What? That how the, the deception of these Christian missionaries, how it is backfiring on them big time. How? And how it is benefiting Islam, inshallah. How? How? So I have really quickly a, a few points for this person, a, a message for this person. First Stop. Now we are getting in business. A message to this person. That's it. This is what we want. Finally. Now there is a message coming to me. Is it going to come? Are you going to do squeezing first or you will deliver it without squeezing? Because Jibreel, he squeezed first as usual. Thank God we are using the internet. Otherwise, he would try to squeeze me, which is going to cause you problem with me. Tell us me what, does, what the message is. First and foremost, stop lying what stop lying first of all brother i did not lie secondly brother as long lying is not good why your prophet he said in the hadith it is okay to lie let me show you and get you busted is that your prophet saying lying is accepted in three it is not lawful the pro the messenger said who the messenger said who the messenger said is that the eighth hadith no it is sahih very sahih what the prophet said about lying it's not lawful to lie except in three cases something the man tell his wife to please her in some cases, to lie during the war, to lie in order to bring peace between the people. Okay, let us say I thought you are my wife. I imagine like your prophet that you are my wife and I decided to lie to you. Where you are lying? I'm not lying, you idiot. I'm lying because I thought it's you. It's your prophet who lie. Your prophet, he said that the sperm of the women coming from their ribs, and women have no sperm at all. Your prophet said that the sperm of the man coming from the backbone, and your prophet, he never heard of the something called balls. Your prophet, you don't even remember which one Allah created first. One verse, he says the mountain. The other verse, he said the, the sky, the stars. Who are lying? And what kind of a prophet he encouraged Muslims to lie to their wives to please her. How many lie you lie a day to your wife, brother? Uh, Sabil. Muslim, they will say to you. Brother, if your wife, she asks you, if, you are, if she is beautiful, are you going to say to her she is ugly? I mean, look how silly and shallow they are. Look at the ethic of Muhammad. It is lawful to lie to your wife. It is lawful to lie in the time of war. What does that mean? Does that mean you really war? Muslims are in war with the Christians. So they are allowed to lie to them. Maybe Christian prince now is lying. Let us see if this is true. Chapter 3, verse number 28. And this is Tafsir the Muslims, tafsir mean interpretation. I have nothing to do with it. It's not me. 
who is explaining those verses, as you see. It says here that a Muslim is not allowed to take the Christians and the Jews as a friends. However, if a Muslim truly is taking them as a friend, he has no connection with Allah. Read carefully. Those who seek might and honor by taking the hypocrite and disbelievers as a friends, those ones has no connection with Allah, which means how many people this Sabil, he said to them every day, we are friend, we Christian, we friends, we're brothers. How many? Every day he said that the liar. You are the fraud. If you go to his video, all of them, all of them he speak to Christians, call them brothers and sisters. All of them. When he is not allowed even to take us as a friend, not only in the interpretation, and we will go to different verses in the Quran soon. But look here, the one who seek might and honor by taking the hypocrite or disbelievers as a friend, he has no connection with Allah, which means he is not a Muslim. He has no honor, which means Muslim can rape his wife. Mercy or protection, which means Muslim can kill him, unless it be that you guard yourself against them, save yourself from them, taking it as we are security, saving yourself from them by speaking in a friendly way while your heart dislike this exactly as this guy speaking look carefully christian jewish hindus buddhas atheists speaking to them in a friendly way toward them while your heart dislike this this is the only time you can say to them you are their friend if your heart is dislike this which means quran encouraging muslims to lie wherever they go especially if they are weak and now he live in usa he's a potato here he don't dare if you live in bangladesh and i'm a christian i will be killed in two seconds all of us we knew that if i am right now in his country i think he's from bangladesh and i say muhammad is a fraud what will happen to me all of you you know the answer all of you you know the answer here Brothers and sisters, the only religion who encourage people to speak in a friendly way while their heart dislike this, which means they hate you, is Islam. And this is exactly how this fraud he speak. Listen carefully. I feel sorry really for them sneaky way like a snake and not only that the quran made it clear that you cannot take a christians and jews as a friend but let us see what he will say uh, more stop lying man come on come on you know that's not me if you want to debate me uh -huh. the real sabil ahmed uh -huh. debate with me but come up okay how how come i made for you tens of videos asking you to debate me you coward and you never did so and i post even in your page and many who they are listening to me they post in your page how come you never respond because you are a coward now you want to debate me tell me more about it away from behind the screen uh -huh. What do you mean come away from behind the screen? Here we go. This is the she club. All of them, they will not debate me unless I come from behind the screen. The coward, they knew that this is how I do my mission. From behind the screen. I am like Allah. Allah, he speak only from behind the hijab. Are you against that? Is it Allah? He said in the Quran that Allah never spoke unless he is from behind hijab. Why you don't ask Allah to come from behind the screen? Huh? Is that your God talking or somebody else? It's not given to any human being that Allah should speak to him unless it be inspiration or from behind the veil. So your God Allah is behind the veil. I don't, I'm not going to talk to Allah unless he stop being behind the veil. And I know that Allah will not come from behind the veil, so I am making an excuse, obviously. 
I am Allah somehow we have things we share in common now because of you so you liar you claim that you want to debate me but you are the same as sister Fifi I am willing to fly to the end of the world to debate you face to face they told you that I debate in Skype and this is why you are making yourself a hero I will debate you face to face I'm so glad you did not say as to ask may Allah ask you excuse my language face to face what does that mean what does that mean face to face maybe on a zoom video or some other video you call yourself as a Christian prince zoom you want me to zoom on you we did already my friend I accept debating you actually I am the one who challenged debating you tell me more about it but honestly, let me tell you, uh -huh. Jesus, the son of Mary, the mighty messenger who was a Muslim, his message was Islam. Really? So how come the Messiah, the one who was a Muslim, he did not have sex with the children like your prophet? How come he says, pray for those who curse you? While your prophet, he says, when you see Krishna in the street, spit in their face and humiliate them. Why your prophet, if Jesus was a Muslim and the follower of Jesus, they love Jesus. Why Muhammad, he said, kill the Christian, whatever you find them, you coward. Is that the Quran? Oh, hold on. I will wait. I will wait because he will quote for us a verse. He used to do jihad against people like... Jesus used to do jihad? If, 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 if. Jesus do jihad? Uh, Fina is asking, can you apologize for the mistake? My friend, apologize for what mistake? It's not a mistake. It's a, this is a perfect mistake. This potato, he was trying to ignore our videos forever. And look, because we thought it is him, he thought he got something. And finally, we got him busted. Now he cannot say, I never heard of a Christian prince anymore. Actually, he will say that since Christian Prince start making videos about me, my subscriber numbers increase, but he just heard the message. He just said he just get the, 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 the mail. And now he's saying since Christian Prince start making videos about me, my subscription start increasing. That's mean he knew about me from ever, but he never he said he never heard of me. He searched for my name. Like you, people used to deceive, people used to lie, people used to oppress. He did used to oppress. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So when you're a prophet, he said, if you see a Christian or a Jew in the street, spit in their face, this is not oppression, right? When you're a prophet in the Quran says, fight the Christians and kill them until they pay the jizya this is not oppression right and not only that you have to do humiliation for them chapter 9 verse 29 if we read the interpretation you will see according to the muslim scholars muslims are not allowed to respect the christians and we showed you the prophet of islam the coward saying if you see a Christian or a Jew in the street, force him to walk in the sewage. Fight those who don't believe in Allah, not uh, nor the last day, nor forbidden, which is forbidden by Islam. From who? From the Christians and the Jews, people of the book. Until they pay jizya, for Muhammad is a fraud, he want money. And why Muhammad, he wanted money? The verse before it, it says why? When the Muslims, because Islam is a supremacist cult, they believe that they are clean and anyone is not a Muslim is filthy, najis. Najis means filthy, dirty, and sewage-like. All who you believe, truly the pagan are unclean. This is a translation of Muslim. In Arabic it says najis, which is a very, very filthy, racist description. So let them not, after this year, to approach the sacred mosque. And if you fear poverty, poverty, Allah will enrich you. How will it enrich you? Attack the Christians, steal their money. Read it. If you fear of poverty, Allah will enrich you. Kill the Christians and the Jews 
and forced them to pay jizya with willing and submission and subdued. This potato, he might say to you, oh, those are the Christians, they were fighting Muhammad. Never happened. Christians are the one who give shelter to Muhammad, protect Muhammad. It was Muhammad who said, attack the Romans so we can get the blonde girls. Filthy man. And this is why a man, he said to him, don't, don't tempt me, Muhammad. لا تفتني. And this is interpretation in their books. Attack the Roman and get the blonde girls. So look how they lie and they say, Jesus was a Muslim. Jesus did jihad. Jesus never killed anyone. Your prophet is a terrorist. Isn't it your prophet who said, Nusr to Barab? You coward. If Jesus did jihad, how come he did not say, I was victorious by terror like your prophet? Do you see it? I have been helped by terror. I've been victorious by terror from a distance of a month journey. Do you see how much human being at the time of Muhammad, they love Muhammad? He is beloved to the point people, they felt terror from a distance of a month journey. You see, Christians, how they lie to you. Muhammad, he killed tens and tens of thousands of Christians. Not only that. The faithy Muhammad, not only he ordered the Muslims to humiliate the Christians and steal their money, he promised he would do genocide to the Christians and the Jews. So he said, if I am victorious, I will cancel, I will cleanse the Christians and the Jew from the Arabian Peninsula. Do you see it? The Messenger of Allah said, If I am victorious, I will certainly expel the Jews and the Christians from the Arabian Peninsula. And this coward is saying to us, Jesus was a Muslim. So Jesus, the Muslim, he will expel those who don't believe in him from their houses and take their land and rape their women. Do you see how they lie? Do you see it? Actually, not only that, Muhammad, he hate the Christians and the Jews to the point he said that Allah, he will take all the sin of the Muslims, even if it is like mountains, and he will place it in the top of the Christians and the Jews. Do you see it? And this is a Sahih Hadith, Sahih Muslim 2767D. The Prophet said, there would come people among the Muslims in the day of resurrection with as heavy sin as mountain and Allah would forgive them and he would place there instead the Christian and the Jews I mean look how much love this guy and the funny the Muslim they say Islam the, we Muslim believe that no soul shall pay for the sin of other soul and they say to you so why Jesus he will pay for your sin this is not fair a Muslim talking about fear so the coward Muhammad, not only he killed the Christian, raped their women, tortured them, took their women, and he killed the Jews, and he did the same to the, to, actually he did more to the Jews too. He promised that all the sin you Muslim do, which means this guy, if he having fornication, which is legal in Islam, by the way, he can do muta, he can do one night stand. He can have four wives in the bed, for some, legally. But he don't dare to do it in USA. Because this is not an Islamic land. 
all what he do in the judgment day, Allah will take the sin of Sabil and he will put it on the Christians and the Zeus. Do you see her coward? Continue, please. Did jihad against people like you? You're not worth the name Christ or Christian. Forget about the name Prince. Uh, no, 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 no. Don't forget about the name Prince, my friend. I am a prince because of a Christ. And I am a Christ follower. This is why we love the Muslims. You forget about Christ. What do you have to do with the Christ? You don't even know what the name of Christ means. I challenge you to tell me. According to the Islamic cult, what does the word the Christ mean? You do not know because you are a thief like your prophet. What the word Israel mean? You do not know because you are a thief like your prophet. What the name Abraham mean? What do you know? I, I, I'm sure you will search Google. You will see, you will find it from the Christian books. But in your religion, you have nothing because you are a thief. You are a fraud like your prophet. Tell us more. Now a message to the followers of this person. Oh, you are you are done with me. When when we will debate you, coward. You said you want to debate me. Listen, you coward. I challenge you. You can go in any program you want. You want to be in Zoom so people can Zoom on you? No problem. I will make you Zoom in Arabic. Zoom will make you phone. This is what Zoom in Arabic mean. I will do laundry for you. Squeeze you like Jibreel. And make all the phone come from you. And you coward, you will never dare to debate me. And because you are no match, you will not even dare to respond to my videos. Or what you will do, you will go in the, in the screen and start complaining. You answer nothing. All the, 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 the videos I made exposing your lies. Finish with me th thinking that this is you and that's it. Coward. I invite you and I promise in front of the people. During the debate, I will not call you coward. I will not call you stupid. I will say this is stupid, but not. I will not say you is stupid, you know. I will never hang up on you. You can go on your program Zoom because you like Zooming, look like it, you know. Those ch child program for kids where women, they open their camera and start dancing. That's why you go there, aren't you? For me, I like to use a Skype. You go in Zoom, no problem. I will go live in YouTube. I will show the reference. I will get you busted. I will call you in Skype. Even I'm wanting to call you to your phone. If you don't want Skype, I will call you to your phone number. You go live in your program. I go live in my program, whatever it is. I am in YouTube. You go wherever you want. And as you see, you always post your program in YouTube. So what's the problem? Why now is Zoom? What is this is Zoom? Mr. Zoomy. And all the coward who try to run away from me, they say we want to do it face to face. What is face face to face? They say that because they knew Christian Prince, he never do that. So they make it as an excuse so the debate will never happen. Anyone who put conditions in the debate, obviously he is scared. If you are sure from your religion, you are sure from your victory, you are sure you have answers, you will not hesitate to do it over Skype, but because it's me. This is the truth. Because it is me. That's the whole story. Now he have a message for you, followers of a Christian prince. First of all, you eat it. I don't have followers. Somebody told you I'm prophet. Nobody will follow me. I will tell you why. I never promised people big boobs in the heaven like your God Allah. Have you ever heard of a God? Promise people to follow Muhammad, big boobs. I'm not sure how much you like big boobs. But obviously have an impact in your faith. Otherwise, Allah will not promise you big boobs. This is God. So this God want me to believe in Allah. So he promised me a drink and grave. Sorry, grape. And a garden. And right away, between the drink and between the garden, there's big boobs. 
So to make it simple for you, Mr. Sabila Ali, Sabila, brother, I pray for Christian Prince. Stop lying. Stop. I'm lying. It's in front of you. It's in front of you. I'm lying. According to your God, this is what I will get in heaven. Three. And then a cup of whiskey or wine. And then between boobs. And I challenge you, you potato, to say I'm lying. It's in the front of you. Ah, I forgot the nipple here. Excuse me. He will accuse me of lying now. He will say, see, you said boobs and you forget nipples. Allah, he promises boobs with nipples, not without nipples. Hello? This is God? A God who promised me boys, who they are so pretty and white, women who Allah will make their vagina never been used? Brothers and sisters, I have a message for you. What the message? Are you going to seduce them by some pimp promise like Allah promised in heaven? Tell them about the boobs. Go ahead. People, Brother Sapil, he have a message for you. Go ahead, brother. Tell us your message. You know, you guys, come on. Allah, God has given you a beautiful mind. Uh, Allah, he gave them beautiful mind. I thought in the Quran, Allah, he said, that the Christians are animals and donkeys. What's wrong with you, you coward? Coward. Potato. Liar. Allah, he gave them beautiful mind, brother. He did. Are you sure? Me. Let us see what Allah He said about the Christians. Hold on. Actually, there's a video of a guy. He made a video. He's a Muslim. I think maybe from the same country of this guy. His name is Dawa something. He said the Christians and the Jews and the Kuffar, they are the same as those cows. He, he was uh, having the video next to a bunch of cows. Look what the Quran says about us. Chapter 7, verse number 179. Many are the jinn and men we have made for hell. They have heart wherewith they understand not, eyes where they see not, and ears where they hear not. They are like cattle. And the funny and different verse, he is the one who said to us, he is the one who mislead us. I mean, do you see how stupid he is as God? Isn't it him who said that I am the one who deceived them? And now he's saying they are like animals. But Dr. Sabir, he says you have a beautiful mind. Actually, the Muslims, they curse us five times a day. And Sabir, he do it each time he pray. Chapter of Al-Fatiha. Show us the straight way, the way of those who you best with your grace on them, not the way of those who they are lost or th those who they are uh, 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 cursed and those who they are lost. Who is the one who is cursed and who is the one is lost? The Christians and the Jews. Is that true? We can show you right now the interpretation. But this guy is appraising you. He's saying you have a beautiful mind. One of them is lying. 
either Muhammad or Dr. Sabil Babil. Read it. Read it. This is the interpretation of the verse. Do you see it? They pray to Allah. Not of those whom you earn their anger. Who is the one who earned the anger of Allah? The religion, not the religion of the Jews who earned your anger, whom you forsook and whose heart you did not protect until they became whatever. And nor those who go astray, nor the of the Christians who error from Islam. But this guy, he's saying we have a beautiful mind. They curse us every day. Say, please, Allah, don't make us the same as the Christian. Don't make us the same as the Jews. But he's just said we have a beautiful mind. So you pray to Allah every day saying, don't make us the same as the Christians. And you just said we have a beautiful mind. So how we beautiful mind and you ask Allah not to be like us five times a day. You are a fraud. You are a certified fraud. What else you want to tell us? I mean, look, eight minute videos, I made you shish kebab. So what if you debate me, what will happen? I mean, I'm just responding to eight minute videos of you and I have a chance from eight minute videos to make you literally barbecue. Eight minute videos. Actually, I am just in the minute 4.39, four minute videos. So what if you make a video for me an hour? Make it me. I challenge you. The more you talk, the more you do poopoo, -poo, and the more I will beat you. And the more people will see how liar you are. Think independently. Think independently. Hold on. Can a Christian think? Are you stupid or what? I thought the Christians are not allowed to think according to the Quran, including the Muslims. We just showed you that your prophet said that Allah is the one who decides your destiny when you are in your father backbone because the Quran teach we are coming from the backbone. Actually, according to your stupid prophet, excuse me, I have to say it this way. Even when you commit adultery, you don't make a choice. It is the order of Allah. Read it. So what this guy is talking about? Verily Allah has fixed the very portion of adultery which a man will indulge. Which what? What what? When you do adultery, according to Islam, it is not a choice. Allah has a fixed very portion of adultery which a man will indulge. What does that mean? Indulge in, which means Allah, he wrote for you how many women you will sleep with. It's not your decision. And you have to do it. Which he of necessity must commit. Do you see it? So what do you mean think? It's all a decision, my friend. You are a stupid liar. This is against Islam. Even your private part get horny by Allah order. Do you see this guy? Four minutes. Four minutes of your words is enough for me to make anyone laugh at you to the coming century. This guy, he made a video, he thought like, okay, we have something. Finally, we got you. You're covered. Now you cannot say you never heard of a Christian prince. And by the way, in the video, he said that since I started make videos, his subscribers have started growing, but he just said he never heard of me before. And now he will tell us something better even. Listen to this. When you stand in front of Allah on the day of judgment, hmm. when Allah is going to ask you, why did you blindly follow this person, despite him getting caught so many... 
First of all, the Christian they don't follow this person, they follow Christ, you coward. Christians they follow Christ, not me. You are a potato. Secondly, instead of saying to the Christians why you follow this person, the question is why you follow Muhammad, the one who said kill the Christians, rape their mothers, take their children. Hmm? Why we should follow a man who made verses in the Quran saying any woman she can give her private part to me? What kind of a prophet he is claiming that Allah he gave him a privilege? Why all the privilege of Muhammad is about his pocket and about his private part? Do you know? Tell us more. Many times and being uh, using fake videos. And fake videos? Get me busted. Here we go. Where is the fake videos? You? <laughs> the fake names and lying and deceiving. Mm. Allah has given you a beautiful mind. Just use it. And I invite you to study Islam. We can send you a free copy of the Quran. Use your mind. I will. Hold on. Hold on. You will send us a free copy of the Quran? What is translation you will send us, Dr. Sabir? I'm really interested. What translation he will send us? Pray for you, my dear brothers, my dear sisters. And we showed you that he is not allowed to pray for us, and Allah he hate us, and Allah order to kill us, and all order even to spread hate between us. In chapter five, verse number fourteen, you are a liar, my friend. And not only that, in the same chapter, chapter five, verse number fifty-one, Allah he says, take not the Christians and Jews as a friends. So why you are calling the Christians, my friend, brothers and sisters, you liar? You are a fraud. Are you disobeying Allah by calling us brothers and sisters? Are you disobeying Allah by calling us friends? Oh, who you believe, take not the Jews and the Christians for your friends and protectors. They are but friends and protectors to each other. And he among you who that turn to them between two brackets for a friendship, he is of them. He is practicing taqiyya now, Christian. Be aware of false teachers. His Quran forbid him from taking you as a friend. And we showed you even the interpretation of chapter 3, verse 28, where it says you can speak to them in a friendly way, but your heart is like this. You hate them in your heart. So discover, look how nice he is to you. Listen carefully. Let me play it for you again and compare between what is written in his Quran. And he want to send you a copy for the Quran. Listen carefully. What he is saying to us and what is in his book of the Quran use your mind I will pray for you my lying and deceiving Allah has given you a beautiful mind just use it and I invite you to study Islam we can send you a free copy of the Quran yeah. use your mind I will pray for you my dear yeah, my dear my dear my dear my dear you remind me of the president of Egypt when he became a president he sent a letter to the President of Israel, he said to him, Dear, I forgot his name, Sharon, dear, what dear? You coward, you potato. Is it the Quran says that you are not even allowed to take your own family as a friends? Dear, not only we just showed you that you cannot take Christians and Jews as a friends, no, they cannot take their own family member chapter 58 verse number 22 read it he will send you a copy of the quran is the copy of the quran is going to have those verses brother or you will take them off though will not find any people who believe in allah and the last day loving those who resist allah and his messenger do you see it he's acting now as loving dear Dear sisters, brothers, you have a beautiful mind, but the Quran says you will not find a decent Muslim who follow Allah, who is loving those who resist Allah and the Messenger. How we resist them? By refusing Islam. Even though they were their own father or their own sons or their own brother, or their own tribe. We are talking about a blood relative here.
Do you see it? This coward liar, he helped us today a big time. He thought he's going to make a video to make a point. But look how many points we made and we expose him. And now this video, he debate me or not? That's it. You are in the video. We got you busted. You debate me. You don't debate me. You've been burned like a match. And nobody can believe in your lies. You coward. When the Quran says you cannot love even your own son if he is not a Muslim. Why you are lying to the Christian saying, brothers and sisters, study Islam. We invite you. We are even willing to send you a copy of the Quran. Potato liar, coward, fraud like the devil, your father. Hmm? Do you see it? Do you see, guys, how we get them busted? What else? This became boring for me. Dear brothers, my dear sisters, and now... Oh, did, 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 did he call them brother and sisters? Did he call the Christian brother and sisters? I mean, how, how can you believe it? The Quran says you cannot take them as a friends. You cannot take even your own sisters as a friends. You cannot be loving to them. And now he is calling the Christian and the Jews my brothers and sisters. We showed it to you on the screen. Who you believe? People, be honest, who you believe? This coward or the Quran? Which one is telling the truth? The Quran, which is saying you cannot be loving even to your own family. To the Christian, to the Jews, and even to your own family. Which one we will believe? The fraud of this guy? Or the fraud of the Quran because one of them is lying and I like actually the end of the video at the end of the video brother there is 10 people accepted Islam oh what 10 people accepted Islam brother the brother true story brother Go ahead, tell us more, brother. What happened? Good news for all of you. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. The more the videos this person is making, the hate preacher against me, there is a big spike on my channel. Okay, hold on. Guys, did this guy, he say, in the beginning, he never heard of me? Did he say in the beginning of the video? He never heard of a Christian prince. Now he's saying, and he will say, since he start making videos of me, my subscribers number start growing. So you know me from long time, you coward. Listen carefully what the potato just said. This person is making the hate preacher against me. There is a big spike on my channel. Say it again. Say it again. Use your mind. I will pray for you, my dear brothers, my yeah. dear sisters. Sister, sister. And now, the good news for all of you. Mm -hmm. Alhamdulillah. The more the videos this person is making the hate preacher against me, there is a big spike on my channel. Uh -huh. Mashallah, more subscribers, mm -hmm. more people watching the videos. So more people are calling. Hold on. What about you show us what happened last month? How many subscribers you got only last month? So we can laugh. And since when the subscribers are getting because of a Christian prince? Calling on the Gain Peace Hotline. So we have a Dawa Hotline. Okay. So in the beginning you said you never heard of me. And now you are saying since I made videos about you, your channel is spiked up. I made you famous. I, you know, I have to agree. I made you famous. You are no one. And now I will make you more famous as a fool. But you just admitted that you know about me since long time ago. You are a stupid fool, you idiot. Because if the video I am making is the one who increased the number and you are noticing that, 
that's mean you are watching my videos and you know about me and you are you know that I, and he said the videos making against him listen carefully what he said I mean those are a bunch of fool learn from your prophet how to lie you, you see your prophet when he lie his lies are more accepted as an example when the prophet said Allah will give you endless penis I mean it makes sense your lie is bigger from the endless penis of your prophet because like you know think about it you are in heaven and now your penis it cannot be like six foot I mean that's insulting because size does matter there they will have a short time all the Muslims will show their penis and it's going to be endless and you want to be proud but your wife is next to you so you how you want to have sex brother your penis will make you turn your lies is bigger than the endless penis of your prophet tell us more brother oh the good news for all of you alhamdulillah the uh -huh. more the videos this person is making the hate preacher against me mm -hmm. there is a big spike on my channel uh -huh. mashallah more subscribers mashallah. more people watching the videos so more people are calling on the gain peace hotline so we have a dawa hotline more people are calling now as long you have a dawa hotline can i call you to that line and we have a debate on your line say yes non-muslims are calling they want to know what islam is and in the last 10 days in the last 10 days this video made when yesterday actually today 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 not yesterday in the last 10 days what happened sabil tell us please tell us brother what happened in the last 10 days alhamdulillah we have 10 people it's a coincidence 10 days 10 people you know sabil i want you to do something for us if you are not lying as long you said in the last 10 days people they convert to Islam and you are a person who record everything for the sake of publicity as an example you invited just a Christian and he is not converting to Islam and you decide to record him without his permission as he told us so how come you did not record the 10 people who converted to Islam even in the phone so this is what I'm asking you to do brother as long you are telling the truth I want you to make an interview with the 10 people who converted to Islam in the last 10 days, which mean from the last 10 days from today. And those 10 people, they will go in your video and they will say, we converted to Islam in this date. And imagine, remember, you cannot bring me somebody, his name is Muhammad. You have to bring me an American who converted to Islam. Real American, my friend. People will die laughing at your lies, you idiot. Ten days, ten Christians converted to Islam. My friend, in ten days I have way more than... Ten. Go and see my videos, how many people leave Islam. What ten, my friends? What are you doing? You are shish kebab. Only ten? With all the subscribers, you get only ten? And yet you cannot prove them. You Muslims, anyone who convert to Islam, you make million videos about them. How come you did not record the ten converter even if they are over the phone who will not believe you i don't bring us the 10 converter and they will say we converted in april from a from april 10 or 11 those who converted they have to be between april 10 and april 20. can you bring them it's a challenge. Otherwise, what you said is a fraud. The same as Fifi, who said to us, there's a guy, his name is Afzal. He called me, and this is not the true Afzal because the true Afzal is his friend. And then Afzal, he said that the true Afzal is not me because the true fake Afzal called a Christian prince. And I know his address, he know where we live. We said to him, you idiot, as long you know the address of the guy who called me who claimed to be of Zal and he is not even a Muslim why you don't go and record him and get him busted until now we are waiting cowards cowards tell us more on the telephone they said we want to convert to this ah this is why it is in the telephone because people will ask him how come you don't have them in video People, they convert on the telephone.
Islam and they recited La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. Mushrikeen, Muslims are Mushrikeen pagan. Look, they are associating the name of their God with the name of a man. This cult, it's a cult made, designed for a man, his name is Muhammad. They cannot convert to Islam unless you mention the name of the God with the name of Muhammad because they share, they are partners. They say to you, Muhammad is just a servant, so why you have to mention Muhammad? Is the purpose believing in Allah or believing in a man? Obviously believing in the man. Mushrikeen, kuffar, black stone kissers, black stone in the shape of a vagina. And why? Because the Arab, they used to have a vagina, God, and they used to put their hand, the women, they go there. And I can show this from the tafsir. I challenge this potato to say to me, you are a liar about this. Or anything I said. And by the way, I invite you to bring with you Fifi. You and Fifi team together. Maybe that will make you more strong. What do you think? Do you dare to debate me and bring Fifi with you? And Mimi. And Susu. And if you want Coco, I don't mind. None of you would there. And look at this finger up. Look at those pagans. They put their finger up. They give finger to Allah. Those Muslims, this is a sign of pagan. They put finger to Allah. Do you see it? Why you are fingering your God? What is that? What is finger? This is finger is about. Why you put your finger like this? Watch your eyes, man, or your nose. I'm worried about you now. Go ahead. And that reminds me of an ayah from the Quran. This is in uh, Surah, Surah Tawbah, Surah 9. Ayah. You don't even know how to say the name, you idiot. Tawbah. What surah? What surah? Tawbah. Number 32, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so eloquently that he mentions. Why, why you don't sing the verse for us? You don't know how to sing it? So you claim you are a person, a Muslim who's a sheikh, you grow a beard, but you do not know how to sing it. So you bring us a guy who have a nice voice to sing the verse to make people think that the Quran looks sound nice. You see this guy with a nice voice, even if he sings about chicken, is going to sound nice. Why you don't sing it for us? You don't want people to see how stupid the Quran is? Now, as long as you mention this verse for us, this is the surah of at People, you want to see at Well, this is at the most ugly, disgusting verse in the Quran. Let us go to the Quran. He is the one who chooses it, not me. This coward, he is proud about a chapter of at where it says that there is a human being who they are not Muslims, they are enemy of Allah and they are filthy. A religion who teach that anyone is not a Muslim is any clean, filthy najis. And not only that, the verse after it says, go and kill the Christians. Here the word fight is qatilu. Qatilu alladheena la yu'minuna billahi wa la bil yawm al Kill, fight and kill those who don't believe in Allah and the last day. So what the reason to kill them? Because they don't want to believe in Allah. May Allah guide you. I will pray for you. So what happened in the time of Muhammad? Why Muhammad did not say, I will pray for you to believe? Why he want to kill us? Suddenly you became a chicken, you coward? Uh, because he lived in America. And now they are weak. They are not the one who is the superpower in the world. But if he is the superpower or his prophet still exists, he will recite for us this verse and he will join ISIS and he will kill us all. Coward! And he is reciting for us this verse, by the way, which I find very stupid of you to, to choose this verse. Because look at this. They, they like to extinguish the light of Allah with their mouth. Okay, hold on. You just confirm that we are peaceful people and we are trying to extinguish the light of Allah by our mouth. So why you want to kill us? Correct, guys? Do you see this filthy cult? The same verse he chose for us is about the Christians. This is about the Christian and the Jews. This is a verse of hate. He chose for us a verse which is about hating the Christians and the Jews, killing the Christian and the Jews, saying that the Christian and the Jews, they try to extinguish the light of Allah by their, faith, by their mouth. 
And then he called us kuffar. In the translation, they say unbelievers. And then Allah will do barbecue for us, Christians. I mean, you are officially the most stupid person ever to quote for us chapter of at tawbah Aren't you ashamed, you idiot? So, Sabil, I cannot call you my friend because it is not allowed in Islam to call you my friend, as you know, chapter 5, verse number 51. But Sabil, I'm really so happy for you that one day you will go to heaven and Allah will make your penis endless and Allah will give you a garden full of a grape and women with big boobs. However, Sabil, the big boobs of Allah will not help you when it's come to me. You have a small boobs, is big boobs. I'm going to make you the booby. And you've been fried and you are a coward and you will never dare to debate me. And again, I repeat the challenge for you, you coward. Go in any form you want. I will be live in you too. We can speak in Skype. I can call you in the phone. And the Skype is for free. You have a Dawa phone, don't you? We have a Skype too. You go on your program, I go on my program, I will never hang up on you, I will never call you a word. I will not even call you a coward. You will call yourself a coward and you will see. And you will run. And you will never accept to debate me. And you will make all the excuses in the world to get away from me. Abdul, how many minutes I just played of your video? 5.58. In 5.58 of your video, I made you shish kebab for the coming century. So imagine if you make a video for me for an hour. And this is my offer for you. As long you will not debate me and you are a coward and you are a potato. What about you refute everything I said in this video? One by one. One by one. If you skip any of them, you are a potato again. And don't make a speech. You have to show us reference. And you have to read the verses I gave in the screen. And you have to prove what you say from Islamic source. Not your own statement. Because I did not give my own statement. I showed the Hadith. I showed the Quran. I showed the Muslim interpretation. Nothing of my own pocket. Do you dare to do so? You will not. Because you know you will be humiliated. So my friends. Those people are a bunch of potatoes. They think they can be victorious against us. They cannot. People who believe in God, who promise women and private parts, they cannot win against the true God. Ask yourself a very simple question. Why God want to promise me women describing the size of their boobs, describing even what is inside their vagina? Promise me wine. A barbecue does it sound right hmm why you want to do that we are talking about the Holy God and when the Muslim they say that Jesus was a Muslim how come Jesus said in heaven there's no sex He and she, they will be the same as angels. How we have the same heaven, but we don't have the horny God promise. We don't have the pimp God promise, who will describe for us what is inside the women private part, as you see in the screen. This is, this is what Jesus taught us. What kind of God will describe for me what is inside the women vagina? What is that? What kind of God he promised me that I will be reclining in a couch? Couch? Ouch! And he 
brother, those couches, brother, are covered by silk. And this silk, brother, is made in Iran. Why? How we know it's made in Iran? It says Istabrak. Istabrak is a name of a brand in the time of Muhammad exist for a kind of a silk. Only rich people wear it. Made in Iran. Have you ever heard of a stupid God? He promised you Nike, Gucci. Imagine I am a prophet of God. And I come to you and I say, you will wear Gucci. It says they are Gucci. It says it's Tabrak. This is an Iranian brand in the time of Muhammad of a fabric. A God who promised me a pillow. What, what? A pillow. From every kind of a fruit, two fruits. Two spring of water. Allah stuck with number two. The strange, he did not say that the women there, they have two vagina. They have only one. Which is weird, by the way. I mean, two, uh, two spring of water, uh, two, uh, uh, you know, uh, kind of a fruit, two kind of me, whatever. And then uh, one kind of vagina, why? And then those women, they are so white, like ruby. What? They are so white. Like rubies and coral. Actually, Muhammad in the hadith, he said. Don't worry about my call, how I call. Don't worry, guys. Don't worry. You are talking to Christian Prince, my friend. Look what Muhammad, he said, just, to, just for, a, for a laugh. Muhammad, he said, did I say Muhammad without saying Allah pray on him? You cannot say that. Haram. Allah will kill you. Look at this idiot who is inviting you to believe in his religion. Have you, because Islam is a racist cult, everyone in the heaven of Allah will be white. Even the Quran says Allah will make everybody white. I will show you that after I finish this one. He says, Muhammad promising that you will have very beautiful, Allah will make you so white when you enter heaven. The first group will enter heaven, the first batch, Allah will make them so white to the point they are whiter than the moon, shiny. The second batch, they will be white like a brilliant star. Supposedly Muhammad, he thinks that the moon is more bright than the star. Look how stupid he is. And then he said, and the women you will have with them sex there, they will be so beautiful, pure, transparent to the point you will see the marrow of the, the bones of their legs and you will see the bones through the flesh. Do you see this madness? This guy is asking you to believe in this garbage. In case you don't understand how this picture look like. Because you might be confused. What Allah is promising me? I will make it simple for you. This is what Allah he promised you in heaven. Wow, man. I see the marrow of their bones. And I see she have some poop there too. Wow. Look at this position, brother. This is the promise of Allah. Brother. This picture is haram, brother. Change it, please. Ah, this is better, brother. This is what the prophet of God they promised me to have in heaven. So the women who are going to have in heaven, they will look scary like alien. Read it. I'm not making things up. And this is Sahih al-Bukhari. They cannot say it is weak. They cannot say it's not true. So when those idiots, they invite you to believe in their garbage, you better know what their garbage is about. It's a garbage in, garbage out. I cannot wait to get this, man. This is very tempting. I better change it because many of you might convert to Islam immediately. Oh, boy. Oh, man. That's... Ah, and this is what we will be doing there. 
Oh boy. Tad's hot. Tad's really hot. And his hand, look at his hand. Oh boy. And you, brother, you will put your head in her head, brother. I don't know, they sound like a jellyfish. What is that, man? And when you are there, you will be thinking, what kind of a crazy God I got? And when you go to heaven and you look like this, you will start thinking about Allah promising you wine. Alhamdulillah, Allah promised you hamburger. Alhamdulillah. I mean, this is fantastic. Obviously, Allah is a true God. Beautiful. The racist Muhammad, because he knew that those Arab races like him, he promised them women, they are so white. So he exaggerated in his promise about how white they are to the point you see through their bones. My friends, we prove to you that this religion is a religion of garbage and you be the judge. I want everybody to download this video. Please post it everywhere. And this time we got the real Sabil Ali, not the fake one, as he said. The real one. Ah, in the end of the video, he gave donation because he received $500 from YouTube. You know, Sabil, you are a hypocrite. You know what Jesus said about people like you? You want to show people that you are giving donation? Let me tell you what Jesus said about people like you. If we go to Matthew chapter 6, the Messiah said, Matthew 6, Take heed that ye do not your alms before men to be seen of them. Otherwise ye have no reward of your Father which is in heaven. Therefore, when thou doest thine alms, do not sound a trumpet before thee as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, that they may have glory of men. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. But when thou doest alms, let not thy left hand know what thy right hand doeth, that thine alms may be in secret. That's exactly Islam. I mean to that, my Lord. They pray in the corner, they pray in the street, they are a hypocrite, and they are, go to the Middle East, the land of corruption. Go to Islamic countries, the land of corruption. Judges, princes, kings, presidents, the land of corruption. This guy at the end of the video, he show you that he is donating life on air $500. And this is a money coming from YouTube. To show you how good he is. The Messiah told us about people like you. And this is why nobody knows who I am, my friend. For I don't let my right hand know what my left hand did. So those people who they are listening to me they do not know who's Christian Prince. Nobody can praise his work. He's no one. No one. And you Muslim keep posting pictures here and there claiming it's me. You posted there, claiming it's me. And you are talking about a fraud. You never saw me. You never met me. If you are a decent man, you will not go live on air and say, I'm going to make a donation. The Bible is speak about you. You want to do it? Do it and nobody will know that you did it. But you did it in purpose, live on air. You waited until you go live on air to show everybody I am making donation and you record it in your screen this is what the fraud people Therefore, do when thou doest thine alms do not sound a trumpet before thee as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets that they may have glory of men verily I say unto you they have their reward but when thou doest alms let not thy left hand know what thy right hand doeth, that thine alms may be in secret, and thy father which seeth in secret himself shall reward thee openly. 
and when thou prayest. Thou shalt not be as the hypocrites are, for they love to pray, standing in the synagogues, and in the corners of the streets, that they may be seen of men. I mean to that. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. Hypocrites. 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 This is who you are and who they are. Thank you all for being here. Please don't forget to download the video. I'm not going to keep it in my channel, as you know. Feel free to add subtitle for those who speak different languages. And let us get this coward busted. And let us vote, please, if you watch this video. Do you think this guy ever will dare to call me? I just invited him. He can bring with him Fifi and Mimi and Susu and Juju. All of them, they can team together and me alone. You can bring 10, 20 Fufu Mumu with you. And Christian Prince alone. For if the Lord is with me, who could be against me? And for you know you have no Lord. For you know yet you are not following the true God. This is why you are truly intimidated. Scared like hell. Who don't dare to debate me. Otherwise, what will stop you? A phone call? A Skype? What you will lose? As long as you have the answers. But you don't. You are scared, terrified. If you like to read more about Islam, the cult of Islam, feel free to read my books. You can find them in Amazon.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and you can join us in Patreon if you care. And enter, we'll see you again soon. Maybe later at night I will come, you never know. If I feel comfortable. I'm very passionate to bring as many as I can to Christ. To expose the cult of the devil so we can save as many as we can of Muslims we love them we don't hate them when we say this guy is a liar doesn't mean I hate him I hate lies our war is against the devil not against this guy I don't know him whoever lies we as a Christian we should stand against him lying not against him physically we don't harm people we don't we are not like muhammad so we love the muslims we pray for them and because we love them we invite them to accept the high mighty god the true god the holy god not the god of boobs and private parts and cup of wine and cup of a black label who will bring tens of thousands of little children to be abused to serve me in heaven as they claim in the Quran. What a disgusting religion. Even in heaven, child abuse and slavery. So, not on earth only, even in heaven, child abuse and slavery. Sick God. Thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you. Please don't forget to subscribe. And later we might be able to come back again if I feel more comfortable. My throat is comfortable. I will be happy to come back. God bless. See you and thank you. And please download the video in the coming eight hours before I take it down. Take care. Bye-bye.